making plans for Nigel. This boy is electric. Yeah, sometimes things don't go quite as you would expect and think. Uh, I created this EV Puzzle channel to talk about electric cars and solar panels, and yet here I am testing robotic lawnmowers. Um, I didn't expect that at all. I didn't expect to be using a robotic lawnmower, let alone recommending them. Um, I've now tested two from a different company, but this one's come from Anthbot. It's a new mower, a new company. Um, I think it's uh, very new, launched on the market. So it'd be very interesting to see whether this Anthbot Genie comes up to spec with something that's been in the market a little bit longer. How is their technology? How does it compare? How does the quality compare? I think this is an early release model, so I'm, I'm not expecting it to be perfect, but uh, it'd be very interesting to see how this compares the Anthbot Genie to the Momotion um, mowers, robot mowers that I've been testing before. So anyway, uh, I haven't opened the box yet. It's still all sealed. Let's have a go and see what's in here. If I haven't uh, mentioned already, um, I am a bit of a fan of robot mowers and I do think it fits in with the whole going electric thing. And it's because as you start to go electric, you start to think about smart homes and electronics for everything, you know, whether it be smart lighting or um, electric lawn mowers, you know, whether it's battery powered, but now for me, robot mowers. And it just seems a natural progression because it's quite a smart thing. It is electric. It is using my green solar energy to cut the lawn, but it's efficient. You know, I like efficiency and the fact that the mower does the job for me is efficient with my time. So this is, this is a really good product. These are really good things to bring into your life. Robot mowers. Who would have guessed? Anyway, um, nice step-by-step -step guide. So um, yeah, that actually looks quite, quite good. Um, some of these uh, that you see, they're all really hard to see and hard to read and not very detailed. This looks okay. And not too many instructions, so I should be able to follow that. Genie series, Anthbot, the instruction manual. Oh, there's a novel to read. I'm guessing the thickness of that is different languages. Uh, yeah, so let's have a quick look. That's in English. That's in English. And the rest is German. So that is English and the rest is all different languages. So not too complicated a manual. That's good news. What have we got here? Um, right, a cable and a pole. So this must be for the RTK. And if you're new to robot mowers and RTK, I can't remember what it stands for, radio transmission something or other, um, I think. It's basically the GPS signal. So the GPS signal is received in an RTK and then it's transmitted to the mower. But I understood this one didn't need an RTK. So maybe that's an option if you don't have the capability of using the automated features of the robot. So we shall see. I don't know. Okay. Just double checking that that really is just a um, padded piece of cardboard, nothing actually within there. More good padded cardboard. It's well packaged, I like it. All right, I can see the mower, that's looking good. We'll get there in the end. Nicely organized with the packaging, I like this. It's very logical. Okay, so there is the RTK. It's very similar to what I've um, been used to so far. So that's the radio transmission with the aerial and that sits on top of the pole. Then you just love my disorganized way of unpacking. Uh, that is just more packaging. Okay, this is heavy. This must be the power supplies. Power supply cable. Uh, 
one cable and connectors so that's all good okay these are the screw-in feet for the ground for the base station so this is looking very very similar to what i've tested already one power supply and some spikes exactly the same to do the rtk so the spikes go on the bottom of the pole the spikes push into the ground that keeps the pole rigid rtk goes onto the top why won't this one come out All right, that's the base station, right, so that's why. So now we get to pulling the mower out and having a look at the actual mower. Packaging is excellent. And the base station. So this goes onto the ground, screws goes into the holes, into the ground to keep it secure, and connections here are for the RTK and power. And the, Mo the Mobot, the robot, rides on and off this platform, hits these charges and charges up. And the uh, infrared, or whatever it is, guidance system to guide it on is there. So that works really, really well. <laughs> and here's one I prepared already. So the Anthbot. Don't know what that stands for. It's, I guess, a Chinese make. I think it's from Shenzhen. All the different uh, radar controls. So it looks good, you know, there's a big stop button, there's a mo button, an on-off button, and a go home button. That all seems sensible. I can feel the looseness of this on it. It's obviously censored, so when it bounces and hits something, then it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna control whether it stops or whether it doesn't. So it looks very, very similar. Let's have a look underneath and see what we've actually got. So two big wheels with grippiness to give it some grip without shredding. One spinning platform. One spinning platform with spinning blades, exactly the same as what I've been used to with the Momotion mower. So this is looking very similar. The um, Momotion, well, oh, I can't remember which model I've been looking at, only has one wheel at the front. It says two casters at the front. This seems quite good. There's a lot of space under here, which is good for cleaning. I like the look of that. It looks very simple. So rather than this body moving, this is this is the body moving rather than the actual platform. So this looks quite stable. Interesting, it's got sensors at the side. Sensors at the side as well as the front. It'll be very interesting to see how sensitive they are and how well it works. Sensors at the side. So quite simple, but is this the standard design? You know, a body that detects um, objects as it's hitting, sensors on the front and the sides, easy moving wheels, and the grippy wheels, and then the spinning platform. So the only downside with this sort of sized mower is the width cut is here to here. You know, it's the width cut is, what's that? six eight inches it's not it's not that much so it's got to go up and down the lawn quite a few times to cut that it's not going the whole width of the mower so it is almost a shame that this platform doesn't extend further and give you a wider width 
and I guess um, the bigger the mower you have that's suited for a bigger lawn then it'll have multiples of these that give you that wider cut so I guess the only negative I can see with these robot mowers and I don't think it's specifically this one is that for the size of the unit it's a small cut I would like to see these develop further so that the devices get smaller because it doesn't need to be this big necessarily or the cut width gets better because then it'll go up and down the lawn less so it seems inefficient for the amount of battery it's going to use if it's going to go up and down the lawn 50 times it wouldn't have to do 50 if it had a wider cut so yeah interesting quality wise looks similar um i think there's a bit more movement of the body but it depends how it, that movement is going to um affect the sensitivity of the device detecting items and bumping into trees or obstacles on the lawn and that bumping into it will stop it moving so i'm, I'm not going to be upset at the moment that there's movement here because that movement could <laughs> i'm moving the camera <laughs> that's going to be interesting yeah so sorry about that the camera is uh, attached to the table so as i move the camera moves hopefully image stabilization picks that up anyway yeah so far so good I like it and it does seem to turn well on the casters but what's important for me is does it use the RTK or does it not all right the back is all in foreign instructions the front is just in English so it's only the one side that I have to worry about Okay, so what I can't tell just from having a quick look at the instructions is how automatic it's going to be. I thought when I said yes to receiving this, it would basically go straight to the lawn and do a self-detect to the lawn and carry on. So very similar to the Motion Mini series that I've just tested. Now, if it does that, that's brilliant. Uh, it has quad vision and RTK uh, technology. So yeah, I'm now going to stop the cameras. I'm going to go and have a look at the apps, going to uh, basically install this and see how quickly it can detect the lawn and get going to replace uh, one of the Mobots I've already got. And then we can do a first cut and see, see how good a job it does. Anyway, thank you very much for listening. Hope you enjoyed this video. It's just to start the unboxing of the Anthbot Genie Mobot. And so far, so good. Everything looks right. Everything looks good. Everything looks decent quality. So uh, we'll see. Second video coming up. I'll let you know how the first installation actually went. Bye for now.